Hello, I'm Lindsay Campos. I'm an SLP at the Speech and Language Development Center. And I know we have a lot of kids here who are teaching to sign, who are using sign as part of their communication. We're really excited about that. But we know as much as we pour into our kids that our parents also need some support. So I had a couple of different ways I wanted to look at that. Um, the first way is I came up with a list of resources of things people have already made and put together for teaching sign that are good for learning, that are good for practice, uh, that can maybe support people a little bit. There's all kinds of different websites and apps, um, hopefully one for every learning style. Um, and then the other way, once I go through all those resources, is I'll show you a few signs. I'll show you a few of emergency type signs, the ones we might use the most. Um, and then from there, if you have any questions, if you want any signs shown to you, if you have a category of signs you'd like me to show you, I would be more than happy to make a video specifically to that. Um, I just don't necessarily want to uh, reinvent the wheel or do things that aren't helpful for people. Um, so, but please let me know. I'm always happy to help. I'm always willing to do anything we can as a team to support our students here. Um, so my email is best usually. It's lcompos, C-A-M-P-O-S, at sldc.net. So anytime, feel free to reach out. Um, I'd be happy to do that. So without further ado, let me share my screen and show you what resources are out there. So there's tons and tons of resources out there. This is not a complete list at all. This is just kind of a, you know, compilation of the ones that maybe I found most helpful over time. All right, so here's the, the main list. We have a program called Sign It by the same people um, that did Signing Times. This is kind of the adult version of that. Um, Bill Vickers is on YouTube, LifePrint.com, ASL Connect. ASL Meredith, ASL Pro, ASL Broom, Bloom, that's an app, and then Galilee Dutt University also has some online classes that you can take. Um, some of these are free, some of it, like Sign It, does come at a cost, um, but they're all really good quality, um, self-taught um, programs. So the first one um, is Sign It. The, um, woman from this is the same woman who did Signing Times. Signing Times is also a great resource. Um, let me pause it for a minute. Also a great resource that's just geared maybe toward the younger set. Um, this is like the adult version of it. So we have a, this man here is a deaf comedian or I guess a hearing comedian who signs and does his comedy in sign language. And this is the daughter of the woman who started Signing Times. And so there setting right now, acting it out. She says, yes, many thanks for my friends. So you can take classes here. So this is an example of sign it. Okay. And then next we have Bill Vickers. Bill Vickers is a, a famous face. Um, a lot of times if you Google, what is the ASL sign for? whatever it is, Bill Vickers is the face who will pop up. So he has a series of classes as well. So this is uh, lesson number one, but then you'll see it's lesson two, lesson three, goes on and on. So you can go through them in order or out of order. His name is Bill Vickers. He's the one who put this together. And so, he says, your name is what? My name. So he signs only. So it's a total immersion program. So that's kind of a neat piece. All right. So that's Bill Vickers. And if we move on, here's lifeprint.com. So here we have Bill Vickers again, but now we go through more lessons. So we have lessons, we have specific lessons, we have a dictionary. Um, this one for me is a little harder to, it's a lesson one. We could launch, we could. 
So here's lesson one. So you kind of go through, it gives you the vocabulary you're learning in that lesson. It gives you some practice, gives you some response, and it gives you some videos. So this is lifeprint.com. That's all free. So, so far, everything that we've life print and Bill Vickers are free. Sign it does have a cost. I don't remember off the top of my head what that cost is. Um, but ASL Connect through Gallaudet University. Gallaudet is a deaf college um, and it lets you learn ASL online if you would like. So these are more structured classes, uh, college type classes. So we could either do asynchronous, so self-paced, um, scheduled sessions with an instructor. Um, so we have options, it goes ASL all the way through six. So that's six college type classes. And so that would obviously be for a, a fee since it's a college class. And I, again, I don't know how much Um, ASL Meredith is also free, and this is going to be a YouTube channel. And so again, she you know she gives her little blurb here, blurb here about basic intro vocabulary and phrases. Um, she gives you some tips about signs that get mixed up, tips for practice for fingerspelling, grammar, um, and more. So this is ASL Meredith. Okay, and then we have ASL Pro. And this one is more of a dictionary. Um, so if we go to the main dictionary, then you can choose your word, but also has some conversational phrases if you'd like. It can quiz you. Um, we can so we can, I think there's a way to search as well. Um, it's been a minute since I've used this one. ASL Bloom, um, I like a lot. This is an app. Um, this app, it kind of is similar to like a Rosetta Stone or a um, any of those language learning programs where it goes through and it'll show you a sign and have somebody signing and then it wants you to pick, you know, did they say drinking a bit or drinking a lot or something like that. As it starts out, it's like, they'll say things like, I'm fine. And then I'll show you another sign and say, wait, what was this? What did it mean I'm fine or did it mean stop it? And it kind of quizzes you through and really helps you practice and process that language instead of just showing a sign and moving on. Um, this is most closely related to how we teach kids language here. Um, so I really have liked this app. And this app is free. Oh, and then we repeated Gallaudet. Okay, and so here's the part where I show my signs to you all. So there's just a few. I think most people have seen these signs at some point along the way. So most people have um, have have experienced these or know these. But just in case, you know, we have our basics. We have more. We have done. All done. I'm finished. A good one sometimes is stop. Stop. Kind of in the same vein as done. Stop. Opposite of stop would be go. So you take your two index fingers and then go. There you go. We have some, we might need help. All right, we might need the bathroom. So this is the letter T. You put your thumb in the middle. That's the letter T, like T for toilet, and then you shake it. Show your need. Your bathroom. Um, we also have what I want. Right? And honestly, those are oh, and open. Open's a very popular one too. I need help to open. I want to go. I want to stop. So right away, even with a small vocabulary, we can start putting words together and start forming sentences, which is really cool. So even if you only know a few signs, you really can put words together and start to express quite a bit. 
the other one, so we also have eat and we have drink, two other important signs, right? So we want, might want more to eat. I'm all done eating. I want more to drink. I'm all done drinking. Hey, I want a drink. Can we go to get one? I want to eat. Can I go get my food? Right? So we can start expressing some different thoughts with that. Okay. So, and again, if you're interested in more, I would love to be able to make some videos um, to meet on Zoom, whatever works best for people. Um, especially if you give me a general topic. So, yeah, like a location, an activity, a time period, give me something to go with, and then I can run with that. I don't need specifics, I don't need every word that you would need to know. Um, but if you say, oh, you know what, we love going to Disneyland together as a family, I would love to have some vocabulary. We can put together some words and vocabulary phrases that maybe you could use when you're at Disneyland. Or you know what, cooking is our special time. We love to cook together in the kitchen. I would love to have some vocabulary to talk about cooking. Um, or, you know, the pool or, hey, it's Thanksgiving coming up and I really want to be able to talk more about Thanksgiving or Halloween or yeah, any of these big holidays, um, summer, it could be summer or fall, um, just point me in the right direction and ask me for help and I would be thrilled to do that. So, okay. So that was a quick synopsis, a breakdown of some of the ASL tools that I found most helpful. Um, if you find any more that you found helpful, let us know and we can share it with people too. And uh, let me know if I can help in any way. Thanks so much.